open it with the small key and voila, there's probably the chest in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the boss key. So do you remember the way back? <laughs> uh-huh, I do. Like, back to the main section anyways. But after that small key, though, uh, it's going to be quite a bit. I mean it's going to be quite a bit. Uh, we still have quite a bit of the dungeon to go through. Like, we were a bit lucky there. Okay. And this is the only way we can go, too. And I haven't seen the boss key, either. That's what I'm hoping to come across. As we're not done with the dungeon until we find the boss key, and yeah, that small key is the only thing we have going for us at the moment. Oh, coming back up, and then we got the small key over here. Is it up there? No. Hmm. I saw it. It's on that platform. There we go. Okay, let's keep going through. This also looks like the boss's room, but we'll be filled with water. Uh oh. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. So that was. So you died? Uh, no. What Link does is that he gets himself teleported back to the start of the room, uh, but he takes some damage in the process. There's a. Hang up there. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can hit it with a bow. It's a little farther. Oh, there we go. And then let's start a... Oh, uh-oh. That's fun. Let's shoot that again. Let's see make these things appear. Okay, oh. How do you aim the arrows? Uh, this controller is a little bit different from the N64 one, so it's a little bit harder to aim in this one. Let's see, so let's see, is there any safe place or anything that I can actually... Uh, try using that very top one. Right there. It might... Let's see, if I head to that one right there, you see it? That one might catch my fall down there. Let's head to this, this one. Okay, and then I should slide right onto it. Yep. Ooh, and then there's like a green arrow thing right there. Oh, and yep, there we go. So that raised that up, and then we can link onto that and then grab onto the top. There we go. We're all through. The boss's key should be somewhere around here. It should, yeah. I agree. There's a lot of these um, wolf face things, so they could be in any of them. I know. I wonder what's up with that. There's nothing down there, though. Oh, hello. Oh. oh we got a lot of stealthos down here, though. Okay. I fought these guys a lot, so. You have experience of mm -hmm. what they'll do? Yeah. So, like, I've played this game a lot, so I know pretty much what these guys are gonna do. What are those acorn trees do? Uh, Decky Nuts? Yeah. Uh, they stun enemies. So you could use that Decky Nut. Uh, I could, but the problem is, is that they have shields, though, so it's a little bit harder. So if I do it, like, right there, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 
So like, that guy had his shield down by the time I threw it, so if I do it like that... See, he had his shield up right there. So if I did it like that... Okay, so they wanted me to fight like this. Yeah, he's down now. Okay. All done now. Yeah, let's see, is there like a switch or anything that appears or? Oh, there's faintly one in that corner that if you move over there, you probably get it. Let's see, I wonder if I can, uh... Oh. I thought I'd be able to. You need your longer one. I have the longer one. Let's see. Uh, got it. So Needed to be a teensy bit closer. Okay, and then, uh, yep, there's the way to go across. Could you, couldn't you just jump over those? Uh, Link normally can't jump by himself, which is kind of weird. Not in Zelda, anyways. Okay, do you remember what this place is? Nope. This is the place where Dark Link appears. Dark Link? Oh yeah, he's the guy that has red eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like him. He's hard to defeat. Uh, yeah, but could he harm you? Uh, he can if I let him. Like, after about a minute, he'll start to fight me. Let's see, so I... Would you have to fight him to... Complete. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that over the next minute or so, he's gonna start uh, getting more solid. So he's gonna look like a liquid. He's gonna look kind of like a spirit at first, but then he's gonna start looking like a normal th human here in a second. Have you noticed that he's starting to get darker? Yeah. Yep. And his eyes are getting more red. Yeah. He's doing backflips. Uh, he's a weird guy. I'm gonna wait for him to start. He's gonna start attacking me here in a few seconds. That's actually what I'm waiting for. I've been around this uh, boss a lot, so I know how he works. And yep, he's almost there. He's almost solid. How much life does he have? Uh, he has quite a bit. He has probably about like nine hearts or so. Okay. Yep, he, he's actually going to start attacking. Okay. Darn it, I missed. Okay, so I was just a teensy bit too late. Darn it. I am, uh, I've lost my flavor a little bit. Flavor? Oh, oh like, uh, I lost my touch a little bit. That's what I meant. Okay. Well, would you have to defeat Darkling to go... Darn it. I'm going just a teensy bit too f slow. Okay, got him. Okay. Because, like, I used to be able to be defeat Darkling so easily, but... Okay, there we go. Got him. Okay, alright, sweet. Did you know that not a lot of people actually know how to beat Dark Link with the sword? Like this? Yeah. Okay, he's down. Well, a lot of people use items like the Megaton Hammer or Dense Fire. But, uh. Oh, <laughs> that's a weird glitch. Okay, we're back to normal now. Uh, let's see, is this the boss key? Nope, not yet. So we're not quite done with, with the dungeon yet. Okay, so let's see, I'm probably guessing... Yep, there we go. So I'm probably guessing the boss key is right down here. Careful, don't get swallowed by the vortexes. Oh, thanks. What are vortexes? Uh, there are those water things down there, they suck you in. Red. Dude. 
And they then sink you in. Mm-hmm. They just sink like you that. into the pit. So what I want to do is Okay, sweet. And yeah, I'm using the iron boots so that way I don't get channeled away by the water. Okay. Oh whoops. What? Oh, I slid down that hill a little bit. I didn't actually put in any enough momentum. I'm sliding down the hill a little bit. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, I'm probably going to switch back to my normal boots here in a second. Yeah, but then the vortex will. It will. If I'm not careful, then yeah. Oh, yay. Oops. Uh, that was close. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, they're probably gonna suck me in anyways. Oh, darn it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get away from it. You're gonna let me take me in. Hey, okay. it's okay. I don't take a whole lot of damage from it. Oh, it doesn't even look like it took a half of <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, the boss key should be right at the end of this passageway, if I remember right. Okay, so let's head over to the here. Yeah, let's see. Well, hopefully there's a, there's a long shot thing over to the other side. There should be. Okay, if I can just slip past here. Yeah, oh, almost. I almost slid in. Whew, I wish that would have been pretty bad. Going over here. Okay. Ah, uh, darn it. Let's see if I can probably make it if I hit that right there. Darn it. Hit the longer one. There we go. Okay, I'm out. Good. Well, we didn't go here before. Nope, we didn't. So there's probably something in there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so the boss key should be in here. Try opening that chest. No, not chest. Wait, what's at the bottom of it? I'm gonna put on my iron boots here in a second and find out. I wonder if it's the chest. It might. Well, what's the part of those? Could you break through this? Ooh, let's see. I don't know. Ooh, I guess so. But uh, all they contain is rupees, though. Well, not all. Yeah, they have been. They have had switches before. But could they contain a chest? Uh, usually a smaller one, but not as big as the boss key one, though. True. All right, here we go. It should be up here. Should be up here. Oh man. Put on the song that you flip. Did you do that under the water? Uh, you can't play the Ocarina of Time underneath the water, though. Could you play other songs? Underneath the water? Uh uh. All I can do is use the iron boots and the long shot, unfortunately. In other words, this is what's called a master quest control. What does that mean? Oh, I see it. I finally see it. Okay. I finally see what we have to do. We have to put in a dense fire right here. 
And this should get us the boss key, it should. There we go. There are like torches there. At least we got out of the room anyways. Alright. Alright, so let's use this long chart right here. Let's get out of here. There we go. There it is. You see it? There's the boss key. There's the boss do chest right there. Oh, I see it. And the next question is, is that we gotta open that somehow? Open what? You gotta open the uh, bar thing right there that's guarding it. Mm. So uh, that's okay. We just gotta search around the room a little bit. That's all we gotta do. This is the only way out of here, so we have to get that boss key in order to leave this room. Yeah, leave the leave the dungeon. Well, let's see. Let's pop these crates open and see if there's a switch or anything in them. Wait, wasn't there like the boss key somewhere down here? It, it's up there. But we gotta find out how to open that barred door, though. That's the problem. So we, what we gotta do, you see there's that switch right there? Yeah. Yeah, so we gotta hit this right here. So this is what I'm guessing. So, let's head right there. And then we have to find out how to open these bars. I'm probably guessing I have to look around here really quick. Wait, go down a little. Shoot that thing. Not that. The thing that was above it. Okay. was a different color of bugs. It was? Yeah. Right above that. Okay, so this is uh this is my guess is that we have to hit the switch right here and then that water thing over there is probably gonna put us into a place where we can probably hit the switch. Oh whoops, I fell down. Hmm. <laughs> That was embarrassing. Walk in there and we'll float up. Oh, yeah, there's something pretty fishy about this. Mm. But there's no fish. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. So let's try this. Let's try Denspire. Let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. Oh, it was supposed to get the fire on the other side. Okay, I ain't gotcha. So is that the... Yep, that's, that's the boss key. We found the boss key! Everybody, we found the boss key! Finally, after... <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel cookie. I feel happy! We've <laughs> At least we can take out the parts that we don't need. Yeah, yep. You, we can say whatever we want in this mic. Yeah, just like hardy, hardy, hard. Har, 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 har. Does it take a long time to edit? Uh, yeah, it kind of does. But like, I can uh, start on the first episode and get it rendered. And then I got to go to that doctor's appointment because uh, this is uh, going to fan out for a few days. So, so what that means is that this isn't going to be one episode because usually they're about 20 minutes long. Uh, we've been here for about an hour and a half. So, oh, but guess what? Now we can just head straight to the boss, Neo. Well, let's do it. Let's get out of here. At least you still have that coat on. You would be dead by oh. now. Oh, the blue tunic thing? Yeah, blue tunic. Yeah. Yeah, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. We're up at the top. We got the boss key. We got everything. We're completely done. <laughs> you know what's funny is that the master quest is actually supposed to be easier than the, than the original. 
I don't know, I think that was uh, pretty challenging at points. Uh, that was the thing, is that I mixed it up from the original Ocarina of Time, that's what the whole thing about this. And now we got this, holy crap. How do you even get past those? Uh, another good question. I'm guessing I'm gonna need the iron boots so that way I don't slip or anything. Oh, no, I need my normal boots, so. Okay, good, because I have no idea. What do you need to do? Wait a second, what is that? It's a crystal switch up there. I see a crystal switch up there. Last time we used the bomb. Yep, but I can use my long shot though to hit it. Let's see if I can actually hit the darn thing. This is a weird controller. Here we go. Ah, shoot. Let's see, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't uh, want to do anything. Oh, there we go. What did that do? Uh, oh. I'm going to go past everything. Sweet. We're there. We're finally there. We're at the... It's boss fighting time. Yes. Oh, finally. Look out, there's the normal water over there. Thanks for letting me know. This is, uh, this was the boss you were telling me about earlier, right? The snake boss? That has a red face. Uh, it's showing up from his eyes. So right now he's, like, curious about me up here. So right now he's warping the water around so that way he can get up to see what I'm doing. He's like, he's stalking me, stalking me. Like, he? Is that a monster you were talking about? That's the exact same thing. Uh, what do you think about him? You think he's a cool monster? Stupid monster? What do you think? It's kind of weird. Because <laughs> when you fight him, he looks different. There's the red orange. Oh, Shoot it! Yes! I'm trying to come to me! Oh, I'm trying to shoot him, but for some reason it didn't go through. I'm trying to shoot him with the long shot, that's how you're supposed to. There we go. Got him a little bit. How much life does he have? A lot. Like 20 hours? Now he's gonna start bringing up water stuff here in a second. Okay. Hey. Come. Come closer. Come on. There. Oh, there's actually a trick is that you can actually put him into the corner and just keep stabbing him, so I think I'm probably gonna do that. Let's see, so he's gonna keep on hopping up and down since I'm over in this corner anyways. Stand in front of the spikes and then when he comes at you, he'll charge them and I'll stab the spikes. If they do that, then he's gonna grab me. Oh. That's because you see that thing that's coming out? That yeah. blue arm? That's what he uses in order to... Oh, this makes things a lot easier, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Is he already dead? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Well, are you going to edit that part? Uh. Or are you going to edit them the way? I'll edit. I'll edit things in and out. Don't worry about it. He's disappearing. Yes, he's finally done. Well. I'm not finding you. It only took like 30 seconds and then he was dead. Yeah. Oh, he's actually picked on a lot in the Zelda series for that. What do you mean he's actually picked on a lot? Uh, like, uh, usually Zelda players on the internet, we talk about different bosses, like some of them being more impressive than others. Uh, some people don't like Morpha. Uh, Morpha? Morpha was just that boss that we just fought. Oh. Yeah, his name is Morpha. And some Zelda players like him, others don't. I personally think he's pretty cool. I mean, he's like a cool water monster. Uh, others, mm, they're not too impressed with them. I think just for like with the water temple. 
And I got another heart container. You usually get one of these when you finish off the boss. Well, you have four of them now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, like bosses like give off a complete heart container, so every time you get a dungeon done, you get one whole heart. And then there are pieces of heart that are scattered all throughout the Zelda series. Chamber and Shages. Mm-hmm. Every time that you get a boss done uh, with the adult Link, you come here. So that way there's a person that gives you a medallion. So. It's a medallion. Uh, well, usually medallions are awards that you get. Like, let's say that you did this sports competition or something, and then you get a little badge for it. That could be considered a medallion. Oh, with here, though, a medallion just means that you beat the temple. Oh. Uh, we're not going to focus on that because there's two more temples to do. And I'll probably do one, one no. tomorrow. Maybe another one today, but... I don't know if you want to, but... Well, not today. Not today. Not anything like that. I mean, I mean not anything like that. Well, just, uh, we've been here for about an hour and 40 minutes, and we just don't have time to go through another temple at the moment. And besides that, you want to watch me edit this a little bit, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Get to hear your awesome voice. Watch out, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 like. <laughs> Like three whole straight. Yep, the entire screen. <laughs> that that means it's maxed out. If it, if the blue bars right there, if they go like right towards the edge right there, that means it's too much for the microphone to handle. Oh. So we pretty so much. That yep, that's a medallion right there. You received the water, water medallion. medallion. If you see Sheik, please give him my, him my thanks, okay? Uh huh. We're gonna see Sheik here in a second. Uh, and water's gonna finally come back up and like Hylia because we got rid of the curse. That water is coming back up. Mm, we defeated. We defeated. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love that. Imagine if we just brought out that kind of humor to ourselves. Oh, I'll definitely put that one in. What do you mean? Oh, like all this stuff right here. Oh, did Rita want to thank me? I see. We have to return in peace to Hyrule before you say to, don't we? Indeed. Look at that, Jason. Together, you and I, Princess Rudo, destroyed the evil monster. Lies! All lies! I destroyed the evil monster. Not Princess Rudo. Once again, this lake is filled with pure water. All is it as it was here. Yeah, I... I don't... We defeated him! We did, not him! We defeated the monster, not Princess Rudo. All she did was to swim up and she did nothing. She did nothing! Oh, Link! I used to think Sheik was his fairy. <laughs> I used to think that Sheik was a girl. You did? Yeah. I don't know. Did, did you think Sheik was a boy or a girl? When I first saw it, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm like, is that a boy or a girl? I I thought that Sheik was a girl for a long time. That's because uh, he has a big poofy hair, so it gives off that girlish look. Mm-hmm. So what do you do now? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the fire arrows here really quick, and then oh, uh, that's it. We're done. Oh, I thought another big burp was gonna come up. So. Yep. Start making loud noises because uh, we're gonna be done here in just a few seconds. Uh, if you want to, you can play a little bit and just talk about the game if you want to. Oh, that's up to you. <laughs> Look at all those notes. Yep. <laughs> you see those little spikes right there? Boo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, that actually looks kind of cool. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed it, guys. Anyways, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know, are you going to be back tomorrow? I don't know, I actually have to head to college here in like the next day or so, so. Actually, if you guys are listening to this, is that I'm probably going to get prepped up for college, so you probably won't see another episode from me for a few days, so. Uh, just a heads up about that, and well... I got enough episodes here to last me a few days, so. Alright. They're the worst.